Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing an update on the anti-aircraft gun kit, as you see there, and then the Rolls-Royce armored car kit, which is off to the side here. But I'm going to basically go through, tell you where I'm at as far as the development of this kit is going, and uh, yeah, just talk about some updates. So first off, I'm going to show you kind of the parts that I've been working with, um, some of the packaging, and just tell you guys where I'm at as far as production goes. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the parts that I've been working on. So... With this kit, there's a lot of custom painted parts here. All these are custom painted, as you can see on this kit itself, all those gold looking parts. So basically what I have in here is these are all the hand crank turn wheels, I guess you could call them. So as you can see, I got gold spray paint all over my hands. So all of these are primed, painted, and sealed. So all of those are done in there, as well as all 200 of these disc pieces. These are all painted, sealed, ready to go. These I actually posted a picture on Instagram, and uh, these are the actual barrels slash cooling shrouds, whatever you want to call them. So those are done. So we got 100 in there. Then we got the studs. Now these are for the assembly for the ammo box or the ammo drum. So those are done, as well as these 1x2 plates. Now they only needed to be painted on three sides, so that's why you might see some gray on some of them. But those are for the ammo drums as well. So and then let's see, back here. These are just some of the bar pieces I had to cut down. I had to cut down each one individually because they didn't need to be so long. It looked kind of funny. We've got the main bases with the clip pieces. Uh, these modified plates. We've got the receivers there. And then we've got like the sight assembly, which are in these bags here. Now, I wanted to talk about the two different designs. As you can see, we have three anti-aircraft guns here. This is the final version here on the base plate. And this was kind of the original design here. So I want to show you, so this is the prototype. See how there's so many little clips there and it seems really complicated just right in there. Well, I was basically, if I can put these side by side, I was basically able to take out, I believe three or four parts. So that's just less, com it's just making it more simple. So the one on the left there, it's just a simple two clips and a bar. And then look at all that mess as far as clips goes. So I was able to simple, or make it more simple and I think that looks just it looks cleaner too so this one was the prototype version I'll keep those ones but this is what the final product will look like so you get all the custom painted parts now I'm trying to keep some of the parts assembled in the kit so the instructions can be um, can fit on this back here this is what they'll come in one of these little clamshell plastic packagings so there you can see the receiver is pretty much done all that's done and basically you just got to plug and play a couple parts and you're done and you're assembled so that's kind of the goal with this kit and then as far as the packaging here like I said all these clamshells so we got a hundred here so 50 and 50 and uh, I still need to work on the actual card so it'll have a good picture my logo designed by um, my fan that helped me out with this and then on the back hopefully the pretty straightforward and simple instructions and then over here I was able to get a bunch of extra pieces, so I don't know what I'll do with those. Like, those are all the clipped pieces off of those bars. Um, I don't know what I'll use those for, but that's just all the extra pieces there. And then, as far as the Rolls Royce goes, I was able to finish the other day this back piece for all of them. I don't know if this will focus or not. There we go. So, it's got this wood grain texture. So, those are for the back of the Rolls Royce. If I walk over here... That's this piece here, as you can see there. So to add some detail, another thing while I'm just talking, I realized I needed to print out the stickers. So you'll get a sticker sheet. You'll probably get more than three. You'll probably get maybe like 10 just because it's easier. And uh, you'll have to cut those out and put those on yourself. But uh, I went through and as you can see here, we got two. So I believe this one was the original one. This one, as you can see, I took some parts off of it. But uh, basically, I was able to go through the instructions and uh, build this, and now I just got to make some instruction, you know, revisions, go back and make it a little more simple. Some of the parts are hard to follow, so I'm trying to make it as easy as I can to follow. So, uh, got to do that. Like I said, there's all the printed parts. I got to print out the stickers. Pretty much all right here is the parts. We got, you know, headlight bricks. They're all in here, and I've all gone through and numbered them so I know how many. And then here we have all the boxes. We've got 50 boxes, so I'm doing 50 Rolls Royce and 100 anti-aircraft gun kits. Now you're probably thinking, okay, what's the price on these guys? Rolls Royce, I do not know yet. That's actually on my to-do list for today is to figure out 
how much it's going to cost me to make it, how much I can sell it for. The AA gun, right now it's going to be 10 to $12 because of all this custom painting, that took a lot longer than I thought. So I've got to get back for my time because this is a pretty time intensive kit to do all this stuff. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'll keep you guys posted as far as the cost on the Rolls Royce goes. But uh, yes, yeah, so like here's the turrets and whatnot. So I just thought, you know, why not just throw those dish pieces on there and assemble that. Make it a little bit easier. And that's pretty much it though. So kind of my update as far as um, when I think these will be released. I'm hoping for... You know, the first week or two of January, obviously you're seeing this Saturday. The reason you're seeing it Saturday is because it's Christmas Eve. I would have been doing a live stream, but I thought since most of you guys come back on Saturdays knowing there'd be a live stream, I wanted there to be a video out for you guys. So this is the video I'm going to put together for you. Um, yeah, so probably, I want to say the first two weeks of January. So mid-January, these kits will be out, so save your Christmas money. And uh, yeah, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, let's see, by the time you're seeing this Saturday, make sure you look out for the Battle of Sinai Desert episode 17, I believe it is, on my channel tomorrow, which is Sunday. And uh, have a Merry Christmas, guys, and I'll see you next time.